Millennials, the greatest generation. I half agree, I half disagree. Now I'm going to leave you the link in the LA Times. I'm also going to leave you the uh, video that brought this to my attention, and that's uh, Bernard Chapin's video. Anyways, that being said, are the Millennials the greatest? Yes and no. I absolutely agree with virtually everything that Bernard Chapin said in his video, which you can listen to yourself and come up with your own thoughts and opinions on that. What makes me think that the yes portion of this is that you see so many kids looking at what is wrong today. I mean, I have seen more youngsters these days deciding that I'm not going to be a drone. I'm going to think for myself. I'm going to do for myself. I'm going to look at what's wrong, and I'm going to bitch and moan and whine and do something about it. Whereas you got other people who, within this generation who also just want to bitch and moan and whine. You see more people seeing what's the problems that are in the nation, as well as the problems with the way that their parents have treated them. Now, me, I grew up with an old-school father. I mean, my grandfather was actually born in the 1800s. I mean, it's amazing that my dad was even born. I mean, everyone knows that one guy with the old dad. My grandpa was 80 when my dad graduated high school. Well, around that age. Now, that being said, I grew up in a very, very old school type of environment. My dad was the kind of individual who would beat me if I'd done something wrong. Not like beat as in fist, but bend me over his knee and give me the belt. You don't see that with a lot of kids these days. And what happens? They turn to little hellions that think they can get away with anything. I see so many kids these days acting like little fucking bastards, not behaving, thinking that everything that they want, they're entitled to. Well, I need an iPod. Well, I need an iPhone. Well, I need a brand new computer that can play the greatest video games that's going to cost my parents about $5,000. I need college. I need college. And I'm going to sue my parents for not paying for it. That actually happened. Some girl actually wanted to sue her parents for not paying for her college. If you want college that bad, join the military. Or did they cut those benefits already? I'm, I'm not quite sure. That being said. Alright. There's really this divide among the millennials. You got the A millennials, which are that little group of Mozarts, the people who can do things, who have an understanding of art, who can do things really, really well. And then you got the B group, which are a bunch of little shitbags who don't know what the hell they're doing with themselves. Oh, oh, oh I want to do this job, not because it actually interests me, but because of the amount of money I'm going to be getting out of it, because it's easy money. La, 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 la. Me, personally, I want any job I can get a hold of. You see all these kids these days going to college and winding up in debt for the rest of their lives for a job that they don't, that more than likely they don't even want. They just want the money. So they're not going to be good at it in the first place. I mean, you, you look at most of the young doctors these days. They don't actually give a shit about their parent, their patients. Oh, just because, oh, it's an easy fix? Here's a pill. Hmm... The medical industrial complex. That's a topic for another day. Whereas, at the same time, you also get a lot of kids within my age group, I'm 23, who see, oh, well, if I go to college, I'm going to be in debt for the rest of my life. How's about I get an apprenticeship in something and learn how to do something really, really well? Hmm. Apprenticeships, tradesmen, those are the people we need more than ever. Because, I mean, look at look at how many young people you see working construction and things like that. I only see country boys taking those kind of jobs. <laughs> country boys. I mean, I'd love to see a woman that can do construction work. I'd love to. That isn't a lesbian. <sighs> uh, a lot of butch lesbians out there in the construction world. I've yet to see one, but I know they exist. <laughs> But you never see all these city boys who dream of becoming like a graphics artist or something of that nature. Something that there's billions upon billions of around the world. 
but you see so very few learning to operate heavy machinery. The, you know, the thing, the jobs that people we actually need. There are a lot of plants and factories around the United States that need a couple guys who know how to work a forklift. And yet, the only people I'm seeing wanting these jobs are the country boys. The people who grow up in the poor neighborhoods. The people who understand that there's not going to be any money for college. That if, even if they get the FAST and the student loans and all that other shit like that, they're going to be paying at the ass for it. And they're going to try and put interest upon interest and the, all that other shit. And they're just going to try and charge you out the ass until you're broke beyond all belief. Which is one of the reasons why I never went to college. I'd love to be a psychologist, but... Can't. Just, it's not worth the money put into it. It's not. So I see this big divide. I also see more kids understanding what it means to be a constitutionalist. We also see more kids these days understanding what it means to be actually for equal rights and letting people live the way they should. But at the same time, you also see these things mashing together and forming some conflict. Now, me personally, I believe in the Constitution. I also believe in equal rights. Two dudes want to get married? So what? Oh, the Bible thumpers, they're going to scream, Oh, 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 well, this flood that happened so far away from wherever this state allowed it? Yeah, that was because God wanted to punish you. You know, if God wanted to punish people for gay marriage, he probably would have taken out California and Florida and New York City by now. But, I've yet to hear of those states going underwater. I mean, there's always these talks about California floating away from the rest of the Union. And honestly, I don't like California to the point where if it did happen... Thank you, God. Let it become its own little island country out wherever the fuck. Hmm. There is a divide among the millennials today. It's about the greatest na generation as well as the worst generation. It's also the brokest generation. We're, my group, the millennials, are going to be the ones who have to pick up the shit that our forefathers left us. We're going to be the ones who have to do something about the Federal Reserve, about all the corruption in government, because eventually it's going to be my group of people leading the country one of these days. But me, currently as I see it, you're going to see... The assholes you hated in high school, the brown nosers who would suck the dick of a teacher if it meant getting a spot on the student council. You know, so that the teachers can rig the votes or whatever so that they can just get their little buddies in. But I could see those guys being the ones running for politics. Because essentially, I mean, they already got the background in it. They don't really know anything else. They don't know how to work a day in their life. But then again, you're also going to see the people who are like, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. All the bullshit that I've had to go through because of people like you. Because of politicians like you who are pieces of shit, who don't work a day in their life, who don't understand what it's like to be one of the people out there working. Like I said in one of my videos that I've done before, the truckers trying to take back America. The politicians who pass those laws, they're understandable, but they don't know exactly how much of a strain it puts on the truckers themselves. But... You can look at that yourself. Anyways, that being said, I hope you have a great day. I want to know what you guys think. And how do you enjoy the new look? Good, bad, or do I look like shit? <laughs> Anyways, have a nice day, guys. I want to know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. Also, the Fallout America page. Like that, because this is going on it. Have a nice day, people.